hello students welcome back do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem it says that the cable will fail when subjected to a tension of 2 kN determine the largest vertical load P the frame will support and calculate the internal normal force shear force and bending moment at the cross section through point C for this given loading so we are given that uh, the maximum force that the cable can support or we can say that the maximum tension that the cable can support is 2 kN. So for that 2 kN what will be this uh, P force, the, that maximum force and then we are asked to find the internal loadings uh, at the cross section through this point C. So to find um, this force P what we need to do is that we need to consider the whole uh, system <coughs> and at A we will consider the pin supports so at A we will have the pin supports so let's say I have AX here and we will have AY here and at B uh, this will apply the reaction force on the rope and that reaction force will be equal to the tension in the rope or we can say if we cut the rope here then we will have the tension of magnitude 2 kN. So let me cut the rope here this is we will have this tension here this will be equal to this tension T which is given this is 2 kN. Now to find this force P if I apply the sum of the moment about that point A. So if I apply the sum of the moment about point A that must be equals to 0 the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. So now as you guys can see that this P force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So we will write counterclockwise moment is positive so plus P and the, the moment arm of this force P from that point A is this distance which is 3 times 7.5. So P into 3 times 7.5. So let me write it like this uh, 0 0.75. Yeah. Similarly, this T is producing the clockwise moment about point A. So we will write minus T and the perpendicular distance of this T from that point A is this distance which is equal to 0 0.5 plus the radius of the pulley which is 0 0.6. So T into 0 0.6 and this is equal to 0. And, and we know the value of T which is uh, 2 kN. So let me write that this is 2 kN. So from this we can say that P is equal to plus 2 into 0 0.6 divided by 3 into 0 0.75. 3 into 0 0.75. So this gives us 8 divided by 15 or 0 0.533. So let me write that P is equal to 8 divided by 15 or this is equal to 0 0.533 kilonewton. Since that tension T is given in kilonewton, so we will get P in kilonewtons as well. So this is the force P magnitude for the maximum uh, 2 kilonewton force that the cable can support. Now to find the internal loadings, I, am to, I have to pass a cutting section. So we have to pass a cutting section through point C and then we will expose the cross section and then at the cross section we need to find the internal loadings. There is no need to find a X N and Y because we are going to consider um, the left hand side of the cut section. So here we will have that same tension T in the rope. This T is equal to 2 kN. Now we have this force P which is 8 divided by 15 kilonewton and here at C we will have the normal internal loading let's say this is NC this is point C we will have um, VC and let's say that we have the bending moment in the counterclockwise direction so this is MC. Now we have to find NC, VC and MC. So for that if I apply the sum of the forces in the X, so the sum of the forces in the X that must be equals to 0 count uh, towards the right is our positive X. So we have NC in the negative X, we have minus NC 
and T falls in the positive x. So plus T, T is 2 kilonewton. This is equal to 0. From this, we can say that minus NC is equal to minus 2 or we can say NC is equal to 2 kilonewton. Similarly, if we apply the sum of the forces in the y, that must be equal to 0. Upward direction is considered to be positive. Now, Vc is in the upward direction, so plus Vc. And P force is in the downward direction, which is 8 divided by 15. This is equal to 0, or we can say that Vc is equal to 8 divided by 15 kilonewton, or we can say this is 0 0.533 kilonewton. Similarly, to find MC, we have to apply the sum of the moment about point C that must be equal to 0. Counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive. Now, as you guys can see, uh, first of all, we have the MC, which is in the counterclockwise direction, so plus MC. And then we have this T force, which is producing the clockwise moment. So we will write minus T is 2 kilonewton. And the moment arm of this T kilonewton from that point C is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1. 0 0.5 plus this distance which is the radius of the pulley so 0 0.6 so 2 kilonewton into 0 0.6 and this p force is producing the counterclockwise moments so we will write plus p magnitude is 8 divided by 15 multiplied by the perpendicular distance or the moment arm so this is the moment arm 2 times 0 0.75 so we will write 2 multiplied by 0 0.75 this is equal to 0 so now from this we can say that mc is equal to plus 2 into 0 0.6 minus 8 divided by 15 into 2 into 0 0.75 multiply 2 multiply 0 0.75 so this gives us mc equals to 0 0.4 so mc is equal to plus 0 0.4 and this will be kilonewton meter. So the <clears throat> internal bending moment at the cross section through point C is 0 0.4 kilonewton meter. The shear force at the cross section here is 0 0.533 kilonewton and the normal force uh, a, at the cross section is 2 kilonewton and it is towards the left, right? So this is towards the left. Vc is in the upward direction and this is in the counterclockwise direction. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.